Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel JB's Lecture. I am Joy Vatacharya and today in this video we will revise the two poems that I taught you in my last videos. So the very first video that I taught you was The Gift of India written by Sarojini Naidu and the second poem was The Peacock written by Sujata Watt. Now we all know about um, The Gift of India. The Gift of India is belonging to isc board syllabus isc board class 11 english syllabus and the peacock written by sujata Watt is belonging to cbsc board class 11 syllabus so today in this video we will basically revise both the poems once again and we will also um, discuss about the word meanings okay so each and every word uh, line by line I will uh, tell you the very meanings of each and every word line by line I will discuss with you from both the poems. So let me just start reading the very second poem that I taught you in the very latest video that is The Peacock written by Sujata Va. Um, so let me just read the poem and then I will go for the very first poem that I taught you belonging to ISC board syllabus. Okay, so uh, let's don't just waste time. Let us just start reading the poem. The Peacock by Sujata Watt. His loud sharp call seems to come from nowhere. Then a flash of turquoise in the people tree the slender neck arched away from you as he descends and as he darts away a glimpse of the very end of his tail. I was told that you have to sit in the veranda and read a book, preferably one of your favorites, with great concentration. The moment you begin to live inside the book, a blue shadow will fall over you. The wind will change direction. The steady hum of bees in the bushes nearby will stop. The cat will awaken and stretch. Something has broken your attention. And if you look up in time, you might see the peacock turning away as he gathers in his tail to shut those dark glowing eyes violet fringed with golden amber it is the tail that has to blink for eyes that are always open okay so here this particular poem ends and right now i will discuss about each and every important word meanings with you so that the particular poem can be easier to be understood okay so let us start first one is nowhere that is not from any place second is turquoise that is a sky blue greenish blue or greenish gray semi precious gemstone third is slender slender means thin or slim fourth you can see descent that is to move downwards fifth dart away that is to fly away sixth is hum the buzz of the beehive seventh is fringe decorative border eighth is a yellow orange color so here these word meanings like the very word meanings belonging to the poem the peacock ends now we will go to the very first poem that I taught you. So let us read The Gift of India by Sarojini Naidu. Uh, let me just zoom it out. Okay. Is there aught you need that my hands withhold? Rich gifts of raiment or grain or gold? Lo, I have flung to the east and the west priceless treasures torn from my breast and yielded the sons of my striking womb to the drum bits of the duty the savers of doom gathered like pearls in their alien graves silent the sleep by the Persian waves 
scattered like shells on egyptian sands they lie with pale brows and brave broken hands they are strewn like blossoms mown down by chance on the blood brown meadows of flanders and france can you measure the grief of the tears i weep or compass the woe of the watch i keep or the pride that thrills through my heart's despair and the hope that comforts the anguish of prayer and the far sad glorious vision i see of the torn red banners of victory when the terror and the tumult of hate shall cease and life be refashioned on anvils of peace and your love shall offer memorial thanks to the comrades who fought on the dauntless ranks and you honor the deeds of the dauntless ones remember the blood of my martyred sons so here you see this poem ends and this is a wonderful poem with great great feelings the previous poem is also a wonderful poem it is about the natural beauty about the birds about um, the national bird of india that is peacock and the very uh, you know second poem that i have just read that is all about uh, we all know about um, the mother india's weeping cry for her sons okay so let us go for the word meanings which are very very important uh, the first one is ought it means indicating duty or obligation second withhold to keep it in one's possession third raiment clothing garments fourth flung that is the past form of fling it means moved abruptly fifth treasure precious wealth sixth yielded shouted seventh stricken it means struck by something eighth sabered it means a light sword ninth doom it means terrible destiny tenth meadows it means a piece of land eleventh flanders and france name of the countries 12th compass it means to surround 13th o great sadness 14th despair having no hope 15th anguish extreme pain please ignore extreme spelling it is wrong written here e x t r e m e it will be Sixteenth, glorious. Okay, glorious, excellent. Just a minute. Two uh, spellings are over here which are not right. The first one is here. You see, extreme. This is not right. E X T R E. m e that is the actual uh, spelling and then this one glorious that is extreme sorry that is excellent e x c e l l e n t and the seventh in this tumult it means confused noise okay so here you can see anguish that is extreme pain the spelling and glorious that is excellent e x c e E X C E L L E N T. Okay, fine. Then, dauntless. Number eighteenth is dauntless. It means fearless. Number nineteenth is martyred. It means one who sacrifices his or her life. So here in this particular video or in this particular poem, brother, we are talking about the martyred sons of Mother India. 
okay so if you are interested to know the very summary of uh, the entire poems as well as uh, the very explanation so analysis of each and every line in detail of both the poems then you may visit my channel and the previous videos where you can get the explanatory um, you know discussions okay so here this video i am completing today this is a kind of revision uh, you can say okay so if you do not know the word meanings properly actually you will face problems in understanding the poems properly that is why knowing word meanings is really really very very important uh, so i guess that this video is uh, helpful to all of you uh, don't forget to comment below if you are watching and uh, don't forget to write down how and which particular methods should i follow to make you all understand okay so bye everyone take care see you soon in the next video with a new chapter